Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Thursday Talks on iDay. So I'll tell you what happened. Uh, hang on, am I okay here? I'm in this frame. Sort of alright. Um, I'll just actually get the thing up as usual. Sorry if there's any duplicate noise for a second. No, I paused it quick enough. Um, right, let's flip back onto me. So I don't expect there to be really anyone in the chat oh it's laggy again um yeah i don't really expect there to be that many people in the chat but the reason i didn't do it yesterday i completely forgot i scheduled to go out my grandparents and have lunch with them um and that was like back on monday or tuesday and i didn't even realize that it was a thursday and that i was meant to be doing thursday talks and it got to about sort of half 11 and then I realized well, I had to take my stuff down to the post office and then I had to go off there. So, um, so yeah, I just, I didn't get round to it. I mean, I got back quite late cause I was just sort of around there for a bit. Um, and I got back and then I had to rush on and get my photos done and all that sort of stuff. So that was why Oh, got seven viewers. Wow. I didn't, I didn't think that. This is a really impromptu little stream here. So here we go. I'll say hello to everyone. Um, hello, one and all. Hi, Ad, hi, Ad. Uh, C and H is there. Tom is there. Carp fishing. All the regulars. Hi, guys. Phoebe here. What I love. I love the name Phoebe. It's such a nice name, isn't it? Um, but not many people are called it. Maybe I should call my daughter Phoebe if I have a daughter. Um, but yeah. Anyway. I am rambling. So first off, I'm going to show you a few pickups, and then we will get into today's topic. Um, I forgot the name of the person who suggested it last week, uh, but it's business versus personal accounts on eBay. This is so. Yeah. Without further ado, I'll show you the pickups. Can anyone just tell me is stream all right? Is everything okay? Because I know I, I don't know whether it's just my internet or what it is, but. The stream doesn't ever seem to be like perfect, so it seems to be a bit great. It always breaks up a little bit. Um, Chris, Chrissy in the chat, um, another regular. Um, Jason's in the chat as well. Didn't see that name there. Um, Carp Fishing says, looks good. Ads missed the chance to give you a topic last week. I know, yeah. Um, when I do it, I might do it actually. This week, let's do it at the start of the show. So can someone give me a top, anyone, just first person in the chat, jump in and give me a topic for next week? Because I think it's just easier that way, and then I'll remember it to write it down later on. So anyone in the chat, first one to, to whack it in the chat, topic for next week, anything to do with reselling, you know, all the different topics of reselling. There's loads of different things you can choose, but someone whack it in the chat. So right, I will continue. So I got a few pickups from the local charity shop. Some really nice items, actually. Not necessarily like really high value or anything like that, but you know, nice quality items that are cool. Um, so I'm not going to open this up. I'll just flip back onto me again so I can see me. Right there we go. Sorry, my I mean, face is in the camera all the time, isn't it? So this is like a sort of parasol, like a summer parasol it, it, it's i call them like recreational parasols because really all it all that happened is like the girls you know in the 1800s you know 1900s but they, they, they put it up just to sort of look sort of dashing or maybe not dashing but uh maybe beautiful you know make enhance their appearance basically so we just put it up enhance their appearance and walk around you know so it, it's recreational use rather than actual use but i suppose it does serve the purpose of shading them for some but i think it was just more to impress the fellas but i don't know the age on this anyway um but it is nice you know it i mean it's definitely vintage obviously i don't think it's antique um you know over 100 years old but it's definitely solid vintage and i don't i don't want to date it because i'm not that good at this sort of stuff so i'm not going to embarrass myself and date it to have someone correct me anyway um but it's a nice item i paid a fiver for it i really don't know what i'm looking at i mean could be 20 quid 30 quid i mean i know some of these go for ridiculous money but could you know i'm, I'm thinking solidly it's got to be over 20 or 30 quid so 
but that is nice. So that's that one. Um, I got also a bit, bit of like a vintage haul today. I got this. Uh, oh, uh, she told it. She told me what it was in the shop. Denise told me. Um, it's a Singer sewing machine, and it's a hem measurer. Hem measurer. That's what it is. So it's measuring hems or something. I don't know, but it's cool. It's a cool item. Got a nice little bit of patina on it. I mean, this might come off this little bit muck here. I don't think you can see it that well. Um, but yeah, it is actually, you know, Singer. Don't know. Probably going to be a bit blurry, but yeah, that's nice. Now I've seen this go for twenty pound plus postage. I'm thinking I might be able to get slightly more. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, it might sit around for a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be one of those items that's going to take forever to sell. But it might sit around for a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking sort of twenty twenty five on that, and I paid a five on that as well, so I was happy with that. Um, and then finally, another thing that. I don't know the price of, and this is the stuff I love. When you don't know the price of the item, and you really have to do a bit of digging and stuff, that's when it gets exciting. I'm just going to flip back onto the chat and see people's comments. Um, sales. Uh, carp fishing chose the topic. How you store your stock and stock management. Great topic, that is. Um, so that will be the topic for next time. Um, yeah, sell it on says that's a good topic. Hate it when something sells and you can't find it. Oh, my God. I have had that so much over the past two months. I mean, it's taken me like half an hour to find little items or even like up to an hour sometimes. And it is terrible. It really is. Um, C and H have a question. Have you ever turned down a deal due to lack of space? Um, I don't think I've ever turned down a deal due to lack of space. I turn down a hell of a lot of deals because I don't think there's enough profit in them or various other things. Like I turned one down the other day for an N64 console and a load of games and I could make about 100 quid profit on it. I was going to invest about 140 and I always like to double my money net after fees. So if, um, if I'm paying 140 pounds for it, I want to get about 400 and odd back in sales and then two uh, well 140 net basically so i'd want to get about on fba i'd want to get like maybe not 400 but maybe like three to 350 and then oh no no i've got yeah my original perk yeah i would have to get yeah sorry i'm getting mixed up yeah i'd have to get like 400 not in sales then i take off my fees then i take off my original 140 pound investment to then get another £140 net profit. That's what I'm trying to say. So if I invest, the amount I invest, I want to double it, basically, net. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but, no, I mean, I have always suffered with space with my reselling. And even if I'm suffering with space, I still buy big things. And, you know, like, like whatever they are, bags or a, a bought bread an enamel bread bin before when I didn't have any space or I buy like a big job lot of video games or something you know hundreds of video games and I've not got any space it's just I just sort of think well it'll work itself out you know I'll just I'll have to just store stuff under my bed or something until until it works itself out I don't know I, I, I just don't bother with that I just sort of look at it like you know I'm, I'm getting the profit from it there's other places I can sort of store it for the meanwhile um, you know, I can try and get away with storing it in my cupboards or under the bed if my mum doesn't get wind of it. Um, but yeah, don't tell her I said that. Hopefully she won't watch this video. Um, anyway, what was I going to show you next? Yeah, there was one other item. It was only, there was only three items today. Um, but to be fair, I go in this charity shop every day. And every day for the last seven days... Or at least add an item or two for me for and, and that from one charity shop that is impressive uh you know just to get one item every day from from one ch single charity shop that is pretty good um so yeah so today i got three items and this is what it is it's this little vintage toy it said on it whoa whoa oh my god oh my god that was so close it nearly fell see i'm terrible every time i show my pickups on camera they fall Right, anyway, undamaged, unscathed, it's this little cat, 
um and it says vintage toy on it there it's actually i looked at the tag and i tried researching it and it's um herman teddy original and i think it's made in germany made in west germany so that must be like pre 80s surely like west germany because when we had east and west germany it's got to be that's got to be quite a while ago that's got to be like 80s at, at the most you know but anyway i don't know it's vintage anyway um i don't really know quite how to date it but it's cool i did pay up for it uh, i bet everyone in the chat is bloody yeah see that toy juggler see oh great i don't are you 30 i think you're i think the chat is 30 seconds behind is that why yeah pre 90 pre 89 pre 89 right okay we know we've got a date so because it says west germany on it it's pre 89 that's cool um now i did pay a pretty penny for this i paid seven that well i suppose not that much but 7.99 um but on a single item for some people that's quite a lot so uh 7.99 i paid for this and, and i have not a clue now there is uh this the same brand what did i say it was the original the same brand for like vintage teddy bears and stuff like that they're all over the place i saw one go for like 20 odd quid um and then there was other like newer ones like with tags and all that sort of stuff um but i've not seen this cat you know i've not seen um i've seen a cat but i've not seen this one so I'm really not sure of where to price it. I sort of have a little standard pricing, like, you know, if I don't know what it's worth, I'll go like $29.99 best offer and just see. Um, but I might do some more research on this because I don't want to stick it on 30 quid and end up underselling it. Now, I don't know whether I'll undersell it at $29.99, um, but I might do. So I want to do a bit more research on this before I stick it on. Um, but yeah, it's a cool little thing. Um, it's you know, it's had some wear. It's been through the wars a little bit, as you can see there. I don't know whether it's got some. I think it is a bit of discoloring or, or whatever. But yeah, um, and I don't really want to be cleaning this up because I don't know how to. With I don't know how to treat these vintage toys, and I think the best thing is just to leave them how they are. A lot of the vintage stuff, you just want to leave how they are even if they're in terrible condition because well for one you might not know how to clean them or for two you might end up damaging damaging them in the process so that's that anyway so we'll get on with the, the real content because um i need oh yeah i need to go around my friend's house today because i'm sort of neg i always neglect my friends it's annoying um steam stream okay oh great um southwest sellers says hi ads um and yeah we're up to date so please discuss this in the chat as well i i wanted to do i intended to do some research i intended to do some hard research on business accounts and personal accounts and because i forgot all about thursday talks this week i didn't do that research now I'm going to tell you a few different things about business accounts and about personal accounts and you can discuss them in the chat and all that and can someone please correct me if I am slightly wrong and then I'll correct myself because I wanted to do the research beforehand so then I'm solid and know what I'm talking about 100% but since I didn't get to do that it's sort of a bit annoying um, but basically basically um, a business account when you get a business account uh, but you've not got a shop you pay 26 pence per listing i believe it's still that i don't know whether it's changed or not but i think it's 26 pence per listing when you've got a personal account you pay 35 pence when you've got a business account with a shop you pay like um, oh god i forgot i forgot i forgot how much you pay with a with a basic shop oh I don't know because I'm not a basic shop anymore. I'm a featured. Um, oh, you get two. Oh, you see, I'm. I'm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, 
You either get 100 free listings or 200 free listings with a basic shop. I think it may have gone down to 100 free listings. When, um, oh, business account with a shop is nine pence. Great. So it's nine pence a listing for a basic shop, I imagine. For an, and yeah, that's it, for a featured shop, it's four pence. That's it, yeah. But it's uh, great, someone's corrected me, 200. 200 free listings with uh, with a basic shop, then nine pence thereafter. Within, with a featured shop, which is what I've got, you get 1,200 free listings, and then it's four pence thereafter. And I think auctions are 13 pence. Um, but we'll go into less detail on that, and we'll sort of just divide the two accounts. So if you are buying with the intent to sell on so you're buying something like i bought this for a fiver and i might get 30 quid back or whatever i get back i don't know if you're doing that get a business account because you don't want to be and i'm, I'm going to preach this because you don't you don't want to be like a personal account and then you sell it you're starting up your reselling or whatever and you're buying and selling buying and buying buying and selling buying and selling all that sort of stuff and then I don't know HMRC gets wind of it or whatever, and you've not you've not registered as a business uh, within the first three months of trading and all that sort of stuff, and it can become one big mess. So that is a major pro of a business account in terms of if you're buying to resell, you do need to have a business account really. Um, now I know there's this sort of one thousand pound tax free limit or something for personal uh, you know for for people wanting to i suppose resell items up to the value of a thousand pound in a year but i'm not going to go into that because i don't really know much about that um but the benefits of a personal account are obviously that you can sell things from your own home and you can put them on ebay for a fairly reasonable cost uh, you know for a fairly reasonable fee level and uh you you know you can sell them professionally you can you, you know you can take your own photos nicely all that sort of stuff and i think with a personal account i don't know this but because it's been a while since i had a personal account but i think ebay may be a little bit more sort of um willing to sort of hold your hand through a process things like that and I think there's a lot more tips and stuff that they give you. Obviously, the tips are available to business sellers as well. But I feel like, um, or I think that um, personal sellers do get given those hints and tips, you know, in emails and stuff, you know, via email, eBay. And that is obviously a big, big pro. But that is both personal and business sellers, I suppose. Um, but business sellers, I would say the biggest pro is that you, your fees, isn't it, really? I mean, you get. I wouldn't say, I suppose it depends on your shop level, severely reduced fees, but if you've not got a shop, then just slightly reduced fees. Um, but also, I think the, the pro of a business account is that you, may, maybe some of your customers feel you're more professional, maybe they, they feel more trusting of you, maybe they feel uh, like they more consumer confidence or customer confidence. Um, Greetings from the dark, cold, rainy land of Scotland. Uh, I'm just reading out a few of the chat bits and bobs. I think you can have a personal account and still be registered with HMRC. Personal accounts do get free listings, unsure of numbers. Can you can you have a personal account and have a business? I thought you had to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can, but I would say it's safer to have a business account because. If you've got a personal account, then H, even if you are registered with HMRC, we may end up contacting you saying, well, why have you got this personal account or whatever? Are you, are you trading things on this account um, and not letting us know or something? It, it might just get a bit messy, but I don't know. Like um, my grand and granddad have got a personal account and they always say, you know, you can use it whenever you want and all that sort of stuff. But if I were to use that account, um, even, I suppose it would just be, I just feel like I might get mulled up like in the system. Like HMRC would think I am uh, using this different account with a load of different stuff, selling a load of different stuff and not declaring it. So even if I was to declare the earnings from that account, they may still sort of frown upon it because 
it's a personal account it's not a business account but saying that on paypal you don't have to have a business account to trade as a business um so i don't know uh, but this is why i wanted to do loads more research on it because i don't i honestly don't know that much um my second account for purchases is a personal account just had an email off with 50 percent off final selling fees that's cool so that's definitely a benefit of a um of a personal account um i believe it's personal accounts that uh, allows 250 in, uh, pound in sales anymore and it's a business ah see i don't know um but all i've got told time and time again from various people or various articles or online or whatever is if you're buying with the intent to resell like i am with this um you you do have to register within the first three months now i do feel that is a bit silly like you know if if, if i buy like one item and that's the only item i'm ever gonna do you still have to sort of register and declare it but that's that's the way it is so uh, but that's just my opinion on it um but i suppose there's a lot of people who actually just bypass that and just buy from a car boot and just put it online and then just do it once or whatever uh, there's probably hundreds of people out there actually doing that which is obviously maybe not the the legal thing to do or anything but if they're doing it once in a while then i don't know is it worth them registering just for that one item for like 10 pound just see there's that's what i'm thinking about this thousand pound thing you know this this thousand pound um sort of tax free thing for personal sellers so we can go out there and buy some items to sell and um sell them on and then we get like a thousand pound tax free or something i don't know whether that has anything to do with these like people who are as i say just buy and sell once every few years or whatever um but i don't know uh need to remember that a business account doesn't actually mean having a shop yeah i know yeah i didn't have a shop for ages um yeah and there's still a, a benefit to having a business account even without having a shop there is reduced fees for one there's your, your nine pence uh reduced fee per listing so there is definite there's a definite benefit between the business and personal account when we remove the shop from the equation um but yeah i don't i can't really think of like tons of other different things for a business account like on its own i mean there's loads of benefits to having a shop but just having a business account on its own i don't i can't think of like a huge amount of benefits um one thousand pound tax free is for anybody starts in april 2017 eBay, Amazon, and Etsy are being forced to hand over customer account details, including their selling activity as part of the taxman's legal powers that were extended last year. Um, the thousand pound extra is for e-commerce. Ah. Um, so will that affect us then? Because I've, I've, I've not really looked into it loads. But does that mean that we get a thousand pound extra tax for you or something? I, I don't know. I've got to look into it. I don't I did like loads of research on tax like last year when I was really scared about doing the tax turn and then I did the tax turn I was like you know it, it's not mega hard but it wasn't mega easy but I'm not really scared about all that anymore so I need to do a bit more research so then I'm up to date with my tax information and stuff um yes you get an extra thousand pound oh that's cool well I will do a bit more research into that anyway and just have a look um so any more discussion in the chat on um personal account v business account is there anything else I, there's probably tons of things i've missed because as i say i didn't get a chance to do the research um but yeah there is probably a lot there is probably a lot more perks um to having a business account than a personal one but obviously if you maybe i, I, I think a while back when i actually first used the ebay ages ago they had like a a color scheme listing template and you go online and you go on your pc and it'd be very simple and this must have been oh, a good few years ago now but it had like a bait it had that was it it had a basic listing template and an advanced listing template now when i started really getting into ebay when i was like 14 i used the advanced one but when I was just selling like my own items and things when I was 13, 
I um, used the basic one. And it was like a color coded scheme. And it said like uh, one title. And I believe that was green or something. And then two category. So let your category. And that was dark green. And then three was yellow photos you're allowed up to 12 and then four i believe was your description and that was red and that was how it was done and i feel that is a massive benefit whether that's a, whether you're on a personal account or a business account that is a massive benefit because um it did make it quite straightforward and quite easy back then and to someone like myself being 13 back then um it, it was a massive help you know and then i moved on to the, using the advanced template and then I think that got sort of uh, it amalgamated into what we know now on the PC, which is, which I believe is just the advanced one, or it's just a different form of the two. I don't know, because I don't actually list on PC, so I'd have to go in and, and check that out. But that's what I remember anyway. And that was a massive benefit for older people, because then there would, it was nice, clear text. It was big text. And... That meant that, you know, all the people can get to grips with it. They know that all they have to do is number one, title, number two, uh, category, number three, photo, number four, description, number five was like your postage and all that. And then that was it. Um, but, yeah, it was great. That was. I love ads trying to wing a Thursday talk topic when he hasn't. I know it's terrible, isn't it? I feel, I mean, you watch this video back. I'm so like. I'm just so sporadic. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Because why did I have to say on Tuesday, why did I say, oh, yes, Grandma, I'm fine to come round on Thursday at one o'clock. Why? Whoa. Anyway. Um, yeah. We are here to help. Um, yes, Carp Street Fishing, there's loads of free banking business deals out there. Um, I'm still on a personal banking thing bank account now i have done research into that and i believe i am okay to still have a personal bank account but if i change over to a business bank account i can't then change back to a personal bank account so i do want to get a business bank account i actually want what i want to do is get another current account so i've got uh, so i'll have two current accounts one all of the businesses money and then one mine and then and another savings account, which is a business savings account, put a tiny bit of the money. Basically, when when the money comes into PayPal, I'll take a set amount out, right? So, for example, say I had 2K in PayPal, right? Instead of letting it sit there, right, not earning me interest, I'll take 1,000 out of PayPal, right? I can live with a thousand pound barrier in PayPal at any one time. That's fine. That's more than enough. And then that 1,000, I'll split it between 500 pound into my business savings account, making me interest, and 500 in my business current account to reinvest in new stock. So, yeah, I definitely want a, a business bank account. I want a couple of bank accounts. I've discussed it with my parents. Um, I, we just need, I, I just need to get the ball rolling myself, not we, but I need to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's so many other things in business, you know what it's like, and I need to just get on and put it on my list and do it. Um, but that's the plan. There's something called creditor and debtor days in business. And what certain businesses do is they uh, they get paid. They try, and, uh, they try and get their, is it the debtors? I don't know which one's which, I've forgotten. But they try and get the people, their customers, let's say that. They try and get their customers to pay within you know instantly or within a few days and then what we do is they hold off paying their suppliers like 30 days and then that 29 day difference they put that money into their savings account that's then gaining interest for them after the 29 days we pull it out of the savings account pay the supplier and they've got that little tiny little wad in in interest but if you are a big multinational corporation who's doing that on a massive scale with millions and millions and millions of pounds, that 29 days of interest soon mounts up. So that's what I'm sort of trying to replicate a little bit. It's tr basically I'm applying the big business to small business. It might not work. I don't think it will. But it doesn't matter because I want the, I want the business bank accounts anyway. 
and that isn't generally just for that it's basically to split the money up from my own money and the business's money so so it's not really due, due to the desert days and stuff but that's just an added bonus of, of doing this so yeah anyway i could talk all day on bloody business um details of one thousand pound extra tax allowance just google hmrc yeah i will do in a little bit i'll write down the topic for next week actually as well uh question do you have a business bank account for the business well yeah i've just sort of talked about that so that's all right because i think you are 30 seconds behind so that's why um Darren, how much is the monthly cost of a featured account as i only have a basic shop um i don't even know it's like 50 odd quid it just comes out it just, i just did it at the time i knew that it was fi financially savvy to do it or what's the word efficient to do it um and i think it was like 50 50 or 55 quid at the time um i'm gonna have to look into how much it is again but yeah it'll be around that it's not massive if you've got like five hundred four five six hundred items it's not that much you're all right i mean if you've got like below four hundred items i'd probably stick with a basic shop depending on your sell through weight your um your price per item all that sort of stuff because if you've got 100 items on priced at 500 pound each and your sell through rate's 50 percent then sure get a featured shop anyway and then run seven day listings or whatever um just because you've got the money aren't you so you could you, you you've got loads of money coming in and you could upgrade to a featured shop and then you oh no wait actually could that work 200 that's 50. no you couldn't really do 10 day listings with your feature with your you'd have to work it out but basically if, if you had a high sell through weight and you had good value items even if you've not got quite the 400 it might still be beneficial to get a featured shop but if you've got lower priced items lower end items and your sell through rates maybe like 20 30 percent if you've got maybe over 400 then do it then upgrade to a featured shop um but certainly you know if you've got that four five six seven hundred definitely upgrade i think i upgraded when i was around 500 um and i upgraded to a basic shop when i was around 200 listings which is pretty late because um basically it becomes cost efficient at around like 65 listings that's what a load of people say um so yeah um i got business bank account makes life a lot easier and more more organized it will do it will make my life so much more organized um just do the maths on shop subscription yeah rewind finder yeah definitely um i'm trying to do that now while i'm talking to you i'm like i can't do the maths i just it, it just won't work so yeah if you want to sort of look at it oh here we go it's about 60 pound a month um the featured shop uh, uh phoebe has said i think that's phoebe um southwest sellers carp fishing question how was your amazon in jan what was your turnover oh my god it was shocking on amazon it was it was shocking it was like 1200 for the month for the entire month 1200 now granted i did get a few bits and bobs sent back to me and I, i've not repriced things in a while um and there is still quite a few items up there that i made poor decisions on in the beginning um but that is pretty shocking for a month that is thank god i've got ebay basically as well ebay was a lot better than that um but yeah it was oh, someone's calling me it'll be that cold caller again oh no it's one more one sec i got i'm just yeah, I'm just in the middle of a live stream. Could you call me back in about 10 minutes? Thank you. Thank you very much. You're on camera now as well. All right, bye. Well, there we go. Anyway, that's that done. Um, so that wasn't the grandma I went to lunch with yesterday. That was my, that, that who just called there was my other grandma. Um, but yeah, so comedy, comedy gold. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Um, yeah anyway 
just someone put another uh yeah someone put another question in the chat and then one more question and then we shall go um i, I, I say I to get on with photographing this lot and then i want to go around my friends so yeah right, let's sit down for a minute Ooh. let's see amazon was slow did you send up much no no i sorry about the light here but i wanted to sit down um no i didn't send up much it was pretty yeah i mean i sent up like one or two boxes at the start of the month um some of the items i knew were slower sellers though um all the consoles went like i had like ps1s ps2s i had a gamecube that went i had what else ps2 ps yeah i had like two ps1s that went i had a ps2 that went um and other bits and bobs and then loads of other video games but lower end video games and just uh oh that's a good question jason says are you gated from selling video games on amazon i'm i'm gated from selling or, or restricted from selling xbox consoles and certain xbox titles but not all xbox titles i am fine with sony i'm fine with nintendo you know uh, sega all that sort of stuff um yeah so i don't know i'm pretty nervous but what i'm actually doing now is the price that i'm buying these job lots for i am basically uh saying to myself that if i can't flip it back on ebay for profit i'm not buying it so that sort of uh phoebe you haven't obviously seen ads legendary treaties on toast video um but yeah then i'm basically there's so many questions popping up um then i'm basically if you know if need be you know if i have to pull out of amazon back and i can at least make my money back or make a very small profit on ebay um so that's what i'm doing it's a fail safe um but that obviously means I'm, i have to pay less for job lots because the ebay price is a little bit less than the amazon price so i have to take that in, into consideration when buying the job lot so it's a bit annoying uh mr g uk reseller vinny says still buying lego in bulk no i'm not oh my god i used to love it i did but i bought like 10 job lots and it was like it must have been like i don't know 50 kilos or something in the end and i was sorting it every week and it was like and it it was really good i was really passionate for it at the start but then by about three months in i just got fed up so i'm the kind of person who likes to swap and change and just jump into any old niche so so that's that really you know so i'm not buying any lego in bulk and i might buy like minifigure job lots and sort them out but i don't want to deal with like the 10 kilograms and all that sort of stuff unless it's like mega cheap um but yeah david mcgregor yeah if you want to hear ads talk for 10 minutes i'm the best way to make cheese on toast oh my god funny yeah um it's in my clip show as well if you can't find the actual cheese on toast video it's in the reseller clip show uh, that i did for my one year anniversary on youtube um so yeah anyway the other one thing i wanted to talk to you about and i'll talk to you about it now um i wanted to do a quick other video on it but on monday on monday is something very special it's my 21st birthday and i am going to go with the lovely person who is andrea my mum uh, we are going to go around and we're going to attempt to going to attempt to we're going to attempt to go around 50 charity shops so yeah 50 charity shops um it's a bit crazy uh I, due to having my anxiety and stuff i don't know whether i'm going to do it so i can't promise that i've got this awesome video where i hit 50 because i get very tired um and i get very sort of well anxious so if i'm doing like seven towns in a row it might be too much for me and that's what the plan is to do seven towns in a row um and it'll be like six hours seven hours um and if it's too much for me then i might have to bow out um 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it it's going to happen. I'm going to at least try and do 30 for you guys. I don't care about what I'm feeling. I'll just try my best to just get through the anxiety and at least do 30 charity shots for you guys. It's not really for you guys. It is for me for stock and because I enjoy it. But I mean, obviously, you guys can see it as well. I'm going to be filming. So, yeah. So, um I wanted to do that. I wanted to do something special. I've also got a family and friends day on Saturday that I'm doing. I might film it. I might not. I don't know. Um, but what's going to happen is, wow, what's the budget going to be for that then? <laughs> as much money as I can get out. I don't know. Loads of money. Like I don't, I'll probably take, um, with, my, with me in cash, I'll take 500 whether I spend all that, I don't know. If I need more, I'll get more out. But I want to be quite selective as well. Um, and I have been doing with charity shops recently. I want to be selective. I want to get those better items. Um, and try and get quite a lot of stuff, um, but not spend like a ridiculous, ridiculous amount. Might be quite hard with charity shops, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening on Monday. I'm not. I'm doing a separate haul video. So what will happen on Monday, right, is I'll be filming it all. So the video won't come out on Monday. I'll film it all, and then I'll edit a video, which is like um, showing you the charity shops and a few of them I'm hitting, and just a little bit of a, a, a sort of outing or trip out video. And then, uh, then I'll do a separate haul video. So... There'll be two separate videos. One will probably get edited and uploaded on the Wednesday or the Thursday of next week. And the other whole video probably on the Saturday. I would like to get it done a bit sooner than that, get it edited and finalized sooner than that. But with work and other stuff, and I've got to process all of this stuff I've got from 50 charity shops. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know, but I'm hoping that'll be the time scale. Um, yeah, loads of people saying happy birthday, so thank you very much, guys. It's awesome to see everyone uh, wishing me happy birthday. Um, this is the first birthday I really, I've actually told people about. Like, I used to be very, very timid about telling people about birthday. I didn't want them to think, like, I'm big-headed or, like, oh, it's my birthday, you have to do all this for me and all that sort of stuff. So I was never really in high school. I didn't really like to talk about the fact it was my birthday but this birthday because it's 21 i'm like i want to tell everyone but yeah um one more year and then i'm past it eh? no i am in joking um band gonna be ringing in two mins what's that nans i don't know what that means at all band gonna be ringing in two mins um happy birthday happy 21st birthday a long time ago for me Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Um, right then, so I'll, I'll sign off now because we've been God knows how long. Um, the chat, the, oh God, I forgot the topic for next week. What is it? Um, management, that was it. Right, so I shall get a little post-it note and I'll write it down. Your grand's going to be ringing it. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, Vinny, yeah. That's what, yeah, right, okay. Um, right, stock management. Right. I'm sorry it was such a terrible episode in terms of that I didn't have a fact straight. I didn't know what I was talking about. And I'm not going to blame my grandma because it's not her fault. It's my fault for, for saying yes. But yeah, I am sorry about that. Hopefully next week will be on Thursday and will be much better. Um, as I say, stock management next week um, and look out for the charity shop video. So that will be awesome. I've done a little bit of an intro for it. Um, I don't. I wouldn't call it an American Pickers style in, intro, but you know, um, it's a bit of a funny one anyway. Um, I'm sure some of the guys will get a kick out of seeing my mum because I know a lot of them said, oh, your, your mum is really beautiful and all that sort of stuff. So I'm sure I'll get a kick out of that. Um, but just remember, she is married. Um, and yeah, I'll sign off now. 
Um, thank you to everyone in the chat. We've got 22 people watching, which is the most I've ever had for, for a live Thursday Talks video. Quite cool, um, which is awesome. I did. I, I mean, for this, like, impromptu, you know, just random middle of the day. No one knew it was coming. Um, and, yeah, I, I just couldn't believe it. So, uh, someone said, Jason says, smash the like button. Yeah, can someone smash the like button? There we go. One person's done it. Uh, oh, no. Two people have done it. That's cool. Um, say then, or oh, I've lost track of where I was then. So, oh, I don't know. I forgot. I'm just going to sign off because um, I forget what's happening. So, yeah, 20 people watching now. That is awesome. And I will see you in uh, the next episode. See you soon. Oh, no, wait. Rachel's in the chat. Hi, Rachel. Just so then you go, you've caught me. You've caught me live once. Right. See you soon, guys. And as always, we have that little awkward pause before I press the stop broadcast button. Bye.